Good day, Collective Sci-Fi. Back again with a, another action figure. Actually, more of a absolute, just a bunch of stuff I've picked up. Quite random things. All Star Wars, mind you. So here we are. <laughs> I'm just yeah shopping yesterday and just went wow. Picked up a ton of things. Believe it or not, <clears throat> there we are. There's the box there. Mandalorian stars. What is it? What is it? You ask. It is. There's the box. There's a part of the box. It is. Yeah, as I said. Yeah. Mandalorian clone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. That looks pretty darn cool though. Um, yeah, it doesn't sit too well in there. That's all right. And, but yeah, here's what it is. Smell like a Mandalorian. So, a person in a Beskar armor, 23 and a half hours a day. Now he probably takes the helmet off when he has a sleep. And of course when he eats and drinks. But yeah, I want to smell like him. Oh, look at that, how shiny is that? Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah. So, yeah, the wife says don't use it. <coughs> yeah. There we go. A bit of fratz, fratz. Yeah. Nope. Uh, it doesn't smell too bad. It's not as strong as some, you know, musky. I don't smell like an unwashed pimp, put it that way. It's not bad. I like that. That's cool. That'll just be on display. Bit of a. <clears throat> bit of a, I don't know, paperweight, whatever you want to call it. Very cool. So another thing I picked up is one I didn't get from the shop. Got it from online because they don't sell many of them here. Maybe one Jedi Starfighter. This is probably based from the Clone Wars because as you can see that's Asajj Ventress's vehicle. I forget the name of that. It's got a strange name. I have got that. I don't have many of these squadron vehicles because I've got most of them in... Uh, the Micro Machines Galoob series, but they fit in, some of these have got uh, Moff Gideon's collapsible TIE Fighter, this one, and now, there you go, so it's got all this nice background imaging you could use, other ones you can get, which I don't need because I've already got all of these, I've got that one, that's the collapsible one, but this is also the Jedi Starfighter with a hyperspace ring, which I think I thought was really cool, very cool indeed. Um, yeah, I don't need those ones because they, I've got them on in the Galoob series of Mike Machines, a little bit better made and with metal. But here it is, the figure itself, or sorry, the vehicle itself, and I've had to put it on a stand. Whoops, that's upside down, Miss Jane, back to the front. There we go, because the thing is, it looks nice. Let's have a good look at it. Haven't put the figures in it yet. You've got your R4. Look at the little figs. I haven't even taken them out of the packet yet. There you go. R4 and Obi Wan. R4 P17. So, yeah, I've got one of these in the big. I wouldn't say it's a TVC, it's a Attack of the Clones vehicle. Still got it. And I've got it needed to get one of these with the hyperspace ring. It looks tough. But it did not come with a stand. That stand is a N1 Starfighter um, repulsor lift stand from, yeah, Mandalorian N1 Starfighter. So I top the, put the thing off there, got Mr. Ryobi the drill, and drilled a hole, and bingo, because it had no stand. I'm like, well, you got to be kidding me. Come on. It's an outer space vehicle. No, it doesn't, it did it. It sat on the ground on a, Dirty great slant. It was ridiculous. I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with this. Now, I wasn't before. I thought there's no steam. That's a bit of a rip off. Yep. But yeah, good to make one. I'll put these figures in there. There's all kinds of things. There is actually, if you wanted to, see, so you got the. It's like so. So yeah, if they do make. And there's another one at the front. And a little push button thing there when you pop. Uh, four in there. Um, so if yeah, these galaxy squadron things from who are they? Where do they come from again? Yeah. But yeah. Make more, please. Make more of these things. The galaxy micro galaxy squadron. I'm happy. 
Um, but yeah, make some things like the Hammerhead Corvette, Medical Frigate. Yeah, um, Grievous's Starfighter. I do have one. I, I do now. I've got my um, Galoob series, the figure, the five-inch vehicles that I've had for years now. Um, yeah, but I, I cheat a lot, and I put some sometimes even game pieces like the Star Destroyer Executor, um, the Mon Calamari Cruiser. From there, they come from game pieces. But yeah, and this again. I'll use this and plus now I've got a nice high stand so it won't, when I do move in, won't take up so much room. But anyway, and last but not least, so yeah, it's good, it's nice now that I've put, finally put a bloody stand on it. I felt a bit ripped off and didn't actually have one. How's this? Zing is having a sale. <coughs> oh, Tristan and the boys and girls are going to love me. Um, there we go. Got another Stormtrooper. Alrighty, so that's the original price of some of these figures, 45 now only 29 because, uh, yeah, but a lot of them are, I mean, some of them are even cheaper, some of the figures are like up to 15 you know, dollars, nine dollars even, a uh, mate of mine, Oliver Holst, you may know of him, he's actually went and bought quite a few, put a video up, and yeah, I mean, if they sit on a shelf long enough, boom, you know, the car's not the best, it's very bent. I'm still keeping it, it's on a Return of the Jedi base there, not not a New Hope, not the original Star Wars. But you can't go wrong with Stormtroopers, so I had to treat myself to one of these. But I mean, hey, I mean, a couple of my Instagram friends, uh, Plastic Snot Goblin and Darth Ozzy and all these others, they've all gone and bought, they found a... Um, What's it called? Uh, Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane, the two-pack. I bought that for friggin' 80 bucks. $80 or 75 and they got it for 20 29 So there you go. In some cases, um, yeah, sometimes it's good to just wait a while. But in other cases, like me, I'm one of these, these FOMOs, fear of missing out. <coughs> And if I don't get it, I don't think I'll get it ever again. But that's not the case in this. With this, especially that Cobb Vanth and... Um, uh, Cobb Vanth. Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane. Yeah, those two. So there we are. If, you, if you're anywhere near a Zing, I actually watched one of uh, Ed Five's videos. He was in... <coughs> in a big W. And they're still at the same price. Still 45 or whatever. A lot of the new archive, I wouldn't call them new, they're just repacked archive figures. Oh, God, all, you know the ones, yeah. But, <clears throat> it is what it is, there we go, I'm hit the eight minute mark and just talking to myself. I'm doing another video tomorrow. Got a good box that you just can't find on the shelf here in Australia. And there we go, is that a box of, there it is, that's showing up. Don't mind that, super shiny, very cool. Alrighty then. All right, so good video up tomorrow. Another Mandalorian four-pack. And that's about it. So I hope you guys can hit a zing in Australia if you're there. Great prices. And also, yeah, if you're going to be buying these Galaxy Squadrons, not many stands. You have to, you know, DIY. All right, guys, all the best. Sci-fi out. And this is the way and the force is with you. Always.